Hello and welcome. This is going to be a reading for May 1st through May 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. I so appreciate your guys' likes, subscribes, and comments. I just, it amazes me how active you guys are on the channel and how much it's grown. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the globe at this point, which is really amazing. Um, the link is below with all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy that I do. Um, you can read about the benefits, definitely check out the testimonials, and you'll see as well I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of the 15% off um, your first session with me. So you'll see that link below. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, all the info is there. We're going to get straight into the readings. We're building to the full moon in Scorpio, which will be on May 7th. So that's it. We'll get into the readings. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for May 1st through May 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled. I'm going to do a couple more for you guys here, and we will get straight into it. Okay, Virgo, starting out with the Tower card. Sorry. <laughs> but the Tower card is, to me, it's always like a, an aha moment, an epiphany, a realization. I mean, something is definitely going to shake you a little bit as far as your journey, maybe what you want, what your thinking has been, maybe patterns that you've been in. Something is coming to kind of a wake up here for you. And it's interesting, you know, to be the first of May and to have this energy kind of just like, yeah, I feel like you're going to realize or learn something here that's going to surprise you or shock you. So this could be something within yourself or this could be with somebody that you're dealing with because the next two cards out here, I've got the Queen of Swords and I've got the Four of Wands. So you could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Queen of Swords, so Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But it's interesting because the Queen of Swords here is reaching towards the Four of Wands. And the Queen of Swords also brings a second chance here. So interesting. You could be having a realization or an aha moment or an epiphany about maybe this person and wanting to try things again. Maybe you've realized a pattern that just isn't serving you anymore and you want, you know, a fresh start. You want something serious. Um, very interesting because I just feel with this Queen of Swords reaching towards the Four of Wands, I mean, this is commitment, this is stability, this is marriage. To me, the Four of Wands is kind of like having it all. It's a very balanced relationship. You can see it's really open to the sky, which to me is like open to possibilities and just so much beautiful energy. There's so much yellow and brightness here. Interesting. Okay, let me get more into the reading here and see what else is there. I also just got that you could realize that you missed out on your chance with this person. So maybe you feel like you've ruined the possibility with whoever this Queen of Swords energy is here. We got four. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Justice card. So Virgo, I really feel like you're going to want to come in and make things right. I feel this tower moment is, is you realizing that you've messed up. I, I don't always feel that, but I'm feeling that strongly because I've got you here, the Hermit card, Shining a light into the justice card, into wanting to make things right, any, into wanting to heal. 
bring justice, bring balance, um, you know, make things right. And we've got three major arcana cards out here too, which is a lot of growth and a lot of um, transformation. Justice card, you could be dealing with a Libra. Interesting, I think the Hermit card came up in the Libra reading as well. So um, could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with another Virgo. But there's something here. I just, for whatever reason, I'm feeling like this tower is you realizing that you really messed up with this person. Maybe you ended things with them. You thought it was just whatever, but you're realizing this person really has the potential for having it all with you. But the next two cards out, I've got the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. In order to get to the Ace of Cups, you've got to make this right, okay? So this is how these all came out here. See how the back is turned towards the Ace of Cups. So until you make this right, whatever this is, Virgo, or somebody could be wanting to make things right with you, until that happens, the love is going to be on kind of a timeout here. The emotions are going to be shut down and turned off here with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is like a miniature hermit card. It's a timeout. It's not wanting to think about things. It's not wanting to deal with things. But I just feel like you are realizing that you are the one that needs to fix this and make this right. Okay, next up, Ace of Pentacles. So this is the offer, the new offer, I should say, because I feel like things really fell apart or are falling apart or have fallen apart with whoever this is that you are dealing with. There needs a lot of healing and fixing. I just keep hearing like fixing. But with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you still want to offer this. I mean, you've got two aces here. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles really has the potential to grow into something long-term and something very serious and committed. Same with the Ace of Cups. It's like emotional fulfillment. It's true love um, with the Ace of Cups here. But it's interesting because the last two cards out, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. I feel, okay, the, the decision is yours, Virgo. This person that you're dealing with may have just turned their back or, yeah, because the back is turned towards the tower. So this person that you're dealing with may have already let this go. But it really, two twos like this and the two twos that are, look, a little ungrounded, unstable, and unwilling to see here, you're going to have to make a decision, Virgo. I feel like I need to pull a couple more cards because to end on the indecision. Yeah, so the decision is to end the cycle of confusion within yourself of where to give your cup. So to clarify the two twos, I've got the death, the seven of cups, and the queen of cups. It's the choice to end the confusion about where you want to give your love. I also feel giving your love to one person instead of maybe many. Maybe that's the tower moment. You know, you keep things open. Maybe you've been more casually dating or having more than one person around. And you realize there's this one person, whoever this queen of swords is, 
is the person who can give you the happiness, the emotional fulfillment, the longevity, the stability. But you've got to, this death card is really asking you to end this cycle. So with the tower and the death card, Virgo, you are going to go through a major transformation in the first part of May. I feel like in getting clear on what it is that you want, I because I feel like you do want a future. You want something like a future commitment, a future, a, a relationship that you can see in the future or for long term, I should say. But very interesting. Okay, let me see if there's anything else to clarify. Okay, so in clarifying the Tower card, I've got the Knight of Cups and the Empress card. Yeah, okay, so again, I'm feeling like you're realizing your Tower moment is realizing that you let someone go that you don't want to let go. That's why you have to come in and be the one to fix things. To bring balance, to bring harmony, to bring justice. I also just got that you may come forward with this new offer and the person, this may be the person you want to give the offer to because they, they don't want to play games anymore. Or maybe you've been so unstable or wobbly with them in the past that they're afraid. So they're like, oh, I, you know, I don't really know if I want to try this again with you. I, I don't know you know, if that is the right thing for me. So this may be actually who you're dealing with that is unsure and you're going to really have to be the one that ends that cycle and says no i am sure this is what i want this is where i want to give my cup so i feel the big question virgo will you fix this i think that's what i'm going to name your video will you fix this relationship because whoever this person is they're still on your mind whether you try to sweep it under the rug, push it aside or not, it's there. And that's why you, I mean, the hermit card, it's in the center of the reading here. I feel like you're on the verge of a big breakthrough, which is really exciting. So again, we've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards out here for you. Okay. Let me see if there's any last messages for you. All right, we've got two that came out here. Interesting, so I've got children and healing. The children energy, I feel for some of you, this could be literal children, but I feel like it's more seeing things through childlike eyes or like a new perspective or an innocent perspective. Um, and the healing that needs to take place is in the heart, is in past relationships, wherever you know, you've been blocked. There is healing that needs to take place here because we've got a tower, we've got the hermit, and we've got the death card. There is deep inner healing and transformation that needs to take place and wants to take place. So I feel like you're being guided to this, Virgo. Um, which, I mean, Virgos are, you guys are very wise. You're very good at, you know, tuning in and seeing where things can be improved. You love to improve things and make things better. So turn that energy on to the self because I feel like, yeah, are you gonna fix this? Really the decision is yours if you're gonna fix this or if you're gonna stay in whatever pattern that you've been in that keeps you here and here, okay? So I hope that resonates with you. 
Um, if not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I really do love reading all your comments. And for those of you who missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart uh, we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work. So uh, the link is below with all the information about the energy therapy, about the benefits. You can read my journey in getting here, and you can also definitely check out the testimonials. And you'll see I have a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So your very first energy session with me, you can absolutely take advantage of the discount. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it, Virgo. So I'm wishing you a wonderful start to May. Happy full moon in uh, Scorpio on the 7th, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of May readings. Take care.